Here's a question I would like to help you with or help answer and provide you with a good example. Do galvanized nails rust? And I've heard a lot of people say, no, if it's galvanized, it's never going to rust. I even heard carpenters telling me that years ago. You want to use galvanized metal. Well, don't forget that in some cases the galvanized is just going to be a coating. And uh, if the coating gets chipped or wears off or separates, then you are going to be more susceptible to rust also. Now you can see here, this is actually some T111 I installed five years ago. Installed it in 2010. This is 2015. You can see here that the nail is not rusting, but these are. And I would imagine it have something to do with moisture in the area. I was cleaning the area up here and actually went through the soil and found a nail, believe it or not. And I was kind of thinking, how could I make this video and make sense out of it? But luckily, I found a nail. And again, here you can see it's a little rusting here. And, and is this a big deal? I just painted over it. I'm not really worried about it. I'm not going to get a rust inhibitor and, you know, go through a lot of work or pull the nails out. I'm not really worried about it. I just simply painted over it. I didn't clean them. I just cleaned the wood, you know, uh, got some uh, soap and water and cleaned the wood, let it dry, and then painted it. And I was fine with that. Now, here's the nail I found in the soil. So this is the is one of the nails I used um, and it was a hot dipped 8D nail and you can see there's a little bit of rust on it. It's kind of going to go through the pictures here. You know, is and it's not rusting. It's kind of weird how a little bit of rust, I guess you can see here. Um, it's not rusting on the head as much as it, as it is on the bottom. And this nail was completely submerged in the dirt for five years, mind you. So when I say you could have problems with these things, obviously you could. I'm not saying that you are going to. You need to keep that in mind. Now you can see right here, I would imagine if I was to guess, this is where the coating either wore off or wasn't very thick. And this is, of course, where it rusted the most. Remember, the nail was completely submerged. It wasn't like it was only this part was in the ground. But the main point why I'm making the video is just to tell you, and I've been telling people this for years, galvanized nails, zinc-coated nails, nails that are coated, um, that have a coating over them, that have a, a layer um uh, protective layer over them. If you drive them in with a nail gun, you can actually chip the coating off. I've seen that plenty of times. These were hand driven, but this doesn't mean that I, my hammer didn't chip the coating off the top of this. But I'm guessing, you know, that most of the, the these were the only two nails that were really rusted. I'm guessing that uh, there was something there, a plant, uh, maybe it was getting a little more water than the uh, area than the other nails something like that more along the lines of that um, is what i'm thinking actually happened but uh, just want to point out you know if you do use a galvanized nail and you think it isn't going to rust you think you're not going to have a problem with it um, you might want to watch this video again